So I'm Tom Fulsham and I'm a lecturer in the psychology department here at Essex um, and I do a lot of research using eye tracking. So eye tracking measures where we look when we look at something. Um, so we move our eyes all the time, we, they kind of dart around several times a second and uh, the brain has to kind of decide where our eyes fixate, where we rest um, and how we take in information from something in front of us. I think it's quite a, a readily available technique, it's quite a common technique that lots of people are using and it's quite easy to pick up uh, given the right equipment and the right sort of training and that's something that we have here at Essex. I think the CBS is a really good space, it's got a lot of different equipment close together so students can kind of get a range of experiences. So I give some lectures about the methods behind cognitive neuroscience including eye tracking and that's a course where students get a lot of hands-on experience with different methods um, from lots of different members of staff. So I use eye tracking to look at how people fixate, where people look when they deal with the complex things that are around them every day. So where people look when they look at pictures or images or video of other people um, and how the brain decides where to pay attention to when confronted with all this information that's out there in the world. I'm Ellen and I'm doing the Cognitive Neuroscience Masters here at Essex. My NSC is using eye tracking equipment to look at where people focus when they read and I'm particularly looking at a loss of central vision and the effect of reading that this has, so altering text size and line spacing and seeing what happens. I like this MSc course because it offers a wide variety of different techniques and you can get hands-on experience and work alongside lecturers and use equipment yourself rather than just be taught about the methods. Hi, I'm Jen Lewis. I came to the department first in 2006 and I did a conversion masters here after doing animal behaviour somewhere else. I then worked as a research assistant here a few times and then I came back last year to start a PhD here uh, and I look at the perception of infant faces using the eye tracking equipment. I chose this department but mainly because of the equipment here. We've got uh, a couple of different types of eye tracking equipment. So we've got the static equipment like this and then we have a mobile eye tracker as well. Um, so that was the selling point for me. My PhD project uh, looks at how we view infant faces. I use the eye tracking equipment to see exactly where people look uh, when making judgments about things like cuteness and attractiveness. And in particular, I look at where we look when there's a facial abnormality, such as a cleft palate or a hemangioma, and see whether we stare at the abnormality, look away, that kind of thing. When I did the master's course, um, I particularly enjoyed the range of subjects because um, I come from a different background in animal behaviour. The course here had um, different aspects of social psychology, cognitive psychology, neuroscience, so it gave you the full spread, but in one year, which I found really useful. So when I leave the department, uh, I think the thing I will miss most is the friendly environment. Everybody helps each other out, the different students, um, and also, as I mentioned, um, the really good facilities here with the eye tracking equipment.